So in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about real-world algebraic reasoning, word problems. We're in 3.7 in the book on page 178. So it suggests here questions that model real-world situations where unknown quantities, variables, are represented using algebra, are their real-world problems. Algebraic reasoning is a skill that you develop to solve these real-world problems. So this is a skill, you're developing it, you're not going to know how to do all of these, you may need some help. The idea here is to persevere, try to put things together, follow along with me, circle star any of them that you're not sure of, and ask questions tomorrow. So. Um, you have a handout for this as well. So Bella has Y meters of fabric. So all together, she's got Y meters of fabric. And I can see there's a bar model drawn here. So that's talking about this big rectangle. That's the Y meters of fabric. She uses four meters to make a banner. So she's cutting away uh, four meters of it. So that's this part here. She then cuts the remaining fabric into two pieces in the ratio of one to four. So, and I'm gonna add these together, the ratio of one to four, meaning there's a total of four parts. One of them is small and the other three are another part. So one to three really means a total of four parts. What is the length of the shorter piece of fabric, the one that's represented by the one? So use a bar model. So she has Y amount of fabric, that's the whole big blue rectangle. She cuts four meters of it off, so we don't have to worry about this part anymore because that's gone. The rest she cuts in the ratio of one to three. So there's one little part here, which you can see, and then three other parts here. A total of four parts, a ratio of one to three. So the shorter piece is that little green box, the one single piece. Um, this is the, the entire blue rectangle minus the four meters. What's left is Y minus four meters that you can see there. The Y minus four meters is the remaining piece cut into a green box and three red boxes. So from the bar model, the length of the shorter piece is only one out of those four pieces that's left. One green box out of the four pieces that's left that's represented by y minus four. That's where this one fourth y minus four comes from. Y minus four, it was the original y cloth minus the four meters it was cut off first. That's why it's in the parentheses first. We only have one fourth of it left that we want to call the shorter piece. So distributing that, one fourth times y gives you the one fourth y. One fourth times negative four gives you negative one. So the shorter piece is one fourth y minus one, all in parentheses, meters, the label on there. The other way you can do it is just doing out by algebra, not drawing it all out. However, I think that drawing really helps um, solve that. Only the remaining cloth is cut into the two pieces in the ratio of one to three. So really, there are four total pieces here. So the shorter piece is one-fourth of what's remaining. So you can see without drawing the, drop, the box, the length of the remaining fabric is the y minus four here. And one-fourth of it represents the piece that's left. So one-fourth, same math, one-fourth times y, and one-fourth times negative four gives you one-fourth minus one meters. So just taking and without drawing and getting that piece of one-fourth y minus one. Okay, here's another example here. On Monday morning, James walked one-eighth y plus eight miles from his house to the park. At the park, he jogged three times the distance from his house to the park. So he did three times this distance. After his jog, he walked home by the same route. So now he's going back home that distance of one-eighth y plus eight miles. 
find the total distance he walked and jogged that morning. So it might be easier if you think about it as, okay, so he, what is he doing? James is walking to the park. So he went 1, 8, y plus 8. That's to the park. At the park, he does three times this distance, 1, 8, y plus 8. That's at the park. He's jogging this. And then he has to go home from the park. So he's going 1, 8, y plus 8, going home. So how many... 1, 8, y plus 8 did he do? 1 plus 3 more plus 1 more makes a total of 5. He did that distance 5 total times. So I'm going to, the, to find the total distance that he jogged and walked, I guess I should say jogged and walked, 5 times 1, 8. Did you see where I got the 5? 1 to the park, 3 at the park, one home from the park, total of five. So I'm going to distribute five times one eighth, five times one eighth, and this is from the reteach book, so they're doing it in steps here. Five times eight plus five times eight. So I get five times one eighth is five eighths y, and five times eight is forty. So doing it in steps, you're not used to doing that, but yes, 5 times 1 eighth is 5 eighths, and 5 times 8 is 40. He walked and jogged a total distance of 5 eighths y plus 40. That's a binomial, so it has to go in parentheses, because that miles just doesn't go on the 40 part of it, it also goes on the 5 eighths y. If the average daily rainfall for the last seven days was 3x plus 5 tenths centimeters, write an algebraic expression for the total rainfall for the whole week. Okay, average and uh, for seven days. So the average is, well, to get an average, you take the sum divided by how many? We know that's 7, and that will equal the average. The average, they're saying, is... 3x plus 5 tenths centimeters. Well, what I don't know is, I don't know the sum. How do I get this sum with this division equation? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this part is. This is what I've got to figure out. What's that sum? So the opposite of solving a, or how to solve a divide equation is to multiply, right? If you have the equation... Say the rain is um, c centimeters divided by 7 equals, just say it's 21, for instance. What number divided by 7 equals 21? How do we solve the division equation? We multiply both sides by 7, and they cancel, and we get 147. So if you forgot how to solve a division equation, there's a little work on that. So same thing here. How do I solve this division equation? Multiply by 7 on both sides. And because it's not just one term, like here, 21 times 7, you have to multiply using the distributive property. And it's okay that the 7's behind the parentheses, because sometimes that happens. So 7 times 3x, 21x, and 7 times 1 half, or 7 halves, 7 halves is the same thing as 3 and a half, or 7 times 5 tenths, 7 times 5 is 35 the decimal point in your product there. So I found now my sum over the total days. They must have had 21x plus 3.5 centimeters of rain. 21x plus 3.5 centimeters, cm, centimeters of rain. So how to solve a dividing word problem. The area of a rectangle is 2x plus 15 square centimeters. The ratio of the shaded region to the unshaded region is 3 to 2. 
write an algebraic expression for the area of the shaded region. I know the whole thing. So I know the whole area is 2x plus 15. The ratio of the shaded region to the unshaded. So this is a 3 to 2 ratio. Well, 3 and 2, the whole thing, that means that this is like being divided into five parts. If I was to do that, maybe we're not coming up with equal parts here, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's a total of five parts there. So three out of five of them, here's one fifth, here's one fifth, here's one fifth, one, two, three out of five of them, three fifths, represents that purple rectangle that I have there. I drew that model in for you. So I'm drawing a model to help me figure this out. Write an algebraic expression for the area of the shaded region in terms of x. So three out of five of them are represented by that purple box. I know the whole thing, so if I find three-fifths of the whole rectangle, which was 2x plus 15, that should equal the purple part. That makes sense to me. This is the shaded part. That's the whole part. Multiply them together and you will get the right answer that's only shaded. So 3 fifths times 2x, got to distribute, and 3 fifths times 15. Well, that's going to give me 6x or 6 fifths x, and you can put the x on top or put it afterwards, they mean the same thing, 6 fifths x, and I can cross cancel my 5's here, plus 9. 6 fifths x plus 9, that's what this part is, it's this purple part here is 6 fifths x plus 9 centimeters area squared, centimeters squared. It took a little thought to do that one. A drawer contains 49 pencils and erasers. Will removed P pencils from the drawer. The remaining pencils and erasers were in the ratio of 2 to 5. Write an algebraic expression for the number of pencils left in the drawer. So this 49 is both pencils and erasers. That's what he started with. He removes some of them. I don't know how many. The remaining pencils and erasers were in the ratio of 2 to 5. So 2 goes with pencils and because it comes first in the ratio. 5, order counts, remember with ratios? And 5 is the erasers. If they're in the ratio of 2 to 5, that means there's 7 total parts. So the pencils represent 2 sevenths, that's pencils, and the erasers, a lot more erasers in the pile, is 5 sevenths. Let's see if that's going to help. First of all, I had to know that total. Write an expression for the number of pencils left in the drawer. So I need this two-sevenths. Two-sevenths of what's left in the drawer, two out of every seven objects that are in there, are going to be pencils. What's left in the drawer? What's left? Well, it started, I know, with 49, and then Will removed some of the P pencils. Removing means subtract. Starts with 49 and he takes away P of them. Starts with 49 and takes away P of them. What's left is for every seven pieces that are in there, two of them are the pencils. So to figure this out, 49, removing P pencils, now they're in the ratio of 2 to 5, so 2 out of 7 are the pencils, to figure this out, we distribute. 2 sevenths times 49 and 2 sevenths 
times negative 1p, right? That's a negative 1 sitting in front of that p. So 7 and 49 do cross cancel, so I get 14. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 7 times 1 is 7. So I have 14, and I'm going to move that negative out front, and negative 2 sevenths p pencils. Fourteen and negative two sevenths p pencils. That's what's left. That part's pencils. The other part, five sevenths of it, is going to be a whole lot more erasers. But they didn't ask us that. So that's it for today. We're going to work on some word problems in class. Um, remember, circle or star. If you have some questions, put a big circle around it so you know which one it is.